Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a good old fashioned week in outfits video, but it's going to be a little bit more elevated because I'm filming it on my DSLR. So hopefully you're going to get some really good close ups and also detailed shots of everything that I am wearing today. So do let me know what you think. Today's video is also in partnership with Linya. So throughout this video, I am going to be sharing some of my favorite pieces from the brand. You will know that I have featured them so many times. I wear their jewelry in pretty much every single one of my videos. Most days I've got something from Linya on and there's so many things that I love about the brand. For one, it is a female founded company. Two, sustainability is at the core of everything that they do. They use recycled materials, so recycled gold, recycled silver. They also utilize lab-grown diamonds, which is just the coolest thing ever. I'm gonna be sharing two of my favorite lab-grown diamond pieces with you today. They use recycled cardboard for their packaging. Uh, in addition to that, they also offset carbon emissions for every single purchase. I think one of the main things that really comes through for me with Lynette as a brand is that Everything that they produce is really high quality. It's designed to last, but it's also accessibly priced. So it means that you don't have to break the bank in order to add something really luxurious and beautiful to your closet. And as you know, that is something I mention incredibly frequently on my channel. So Linya have not only released some new designs, one of which I'm going to share with you today, but they also have their summer sale on right now, which is buy one, get one for 40% off. So I'm gonna have all the details of that listed down in the description box below. In addition to that, that I will also list every single piece that I'm wearing throughout the week. So if you want to go and look anything up on the website, it's an easy reference for you. So let's talk about what I'm wearing today and I'll run through my jewelry first, then my outfit, just as I really want to share these linear pieces with you. So it is currently about 15 degrees here in Sydney. We have incredibly mild winters, which I think is almost on par with summer in some places in the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, it does get above 20 degrees in our winter. Uh, I don't feel cold right now, but there is a mild breeze outside. So I definitely wear a jacket if I had to pop out, but I'm mostly going to be working from home today. So jewelry first, I'm wearing probably one of my favorite pieces from Linnea, the Matilde earrings. These have the organic sort of hoop shape at the top and then the pearl drop. I love these. I think they're just so beautiful. They're really elegant and there's something that I like to wear even when I've got something very casual on because it acts as a bit of a juxtaposing element and I love that. Then on my left hand, I am wearing my two favorite lab grown diamond pieces. It is the Miriam diamonds ring and then also the Ilsa ring Lux. I love the fact that they've used 14 karat gold for these rings because it is incredibly creamy. Then on my other hand, I have on one of their new designs. It is their newly launched amethyst ring and I was born in February. So amethyst is my birthstone and I just love it. It makes me feel really happy. I think purple is just such a beautiful color and it's a nice way to add in a slightly colorful touch to my outfit. Linear's gold verme pieces are made using sterling silver and then they have a 22 karat gold verme plating which has a thickness of 2.5 to 3 microns. So yeah. That is kind of my jewelry today. Oh, and actually I have a couple of uh, <laughs> necklaces on as well. So this beautiful little crescent moon necklace, which I adore. I'm really into uh, sort of those more celestial elements in jewelry. And I don't know if this goes back to my love of Sailor Moon, which I was obsessed with as a kid, as a teenager even. Uh, and then I also have on, um, I believe this one's called the Lechner's necklace. If not, I'll put the correct name on screen, which is this beautiful, fine, twisted chain. So that's my jewelry. Then moving on to my outfit, I have gone for pure neutrals today uh, and I have gone for a very cool palette mixed in with slight warmth at the belt. So t-shirt is from Jenny Kane. This is their pocket tee. Uh, I'm wearing the size small. I have all my sizing details in the description box. Uh, this is really, really lovely and soft. I like the length of the sleeves, um, though I have noticed it has already started pilling here. I think I've worn this maybe six times, uh, just where my bag strap is. So I need to just run over it with a fabric shaver and it will be like new. Um, if you aren't sure where the fabric shaver is, I'll pop a photo on screen. I'll link something down below. The trousers that I'm wearing are probably one of my favorite wardrobe additions of the past year. These ones are from Facade Pattern. I have another pair of trousers from them in linen and they're equally beautiful. These are, I think they're called their round tuck trouser. These are in the wool. They do them in cotton too. 
I just think the fit of them is really fun. It's a more wider exaggerated shape than I would typically go for and it just creates an interesting silhouette. Uh, I have belted that at the waist with my Cezanne tailor belt which is in this mock croc leather which I really like and as I said this is sort of a warm touch. Normally I wouldn't mix cool and warm elements like this but I actually don't mind how it looks for this outfit. Shoes that I've got on today are my Vanelli two-tone pumps which I spotted were back in stock. Um, I adore these. They're one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe. Definitely one of my ride or dies and uh, still in desperate need of being replaced. I just haven't gotten around to it yet but I adore them. So that is kind of my outfit today. I think if I were to wear a jacket I would probably just throw on my little Marl uh, quilted jacket which is sadly sold out so I'll link some alternatives for that one down below. But yeah, that is my look for Monday. I'll check in with you tomorrow for my next outfit of the week. So it is Tuesday today and it's a little bit chilly. Today I kind of decided to build my outfit around a specific core piece. This is one of the ways I generally tend to build my outfits and today that was my realization part, slip skirt, because I I don't know why, I just really wanted to wear this today. Today is going to be a bit of a working from home day and my sister is also going to be popping around. Uh, she's moving back to Canberra so I think we're going to head out for lunch which will be really nice. Uh, talking through my jewellery first, so I'm wearing a new earring style from Linnea which I think are just stunning. They're called the Aura Climate Earrings and it's essentially three white topaz gemstones which have been organized in this beautiful little curved design and I feel like these earrings would look particularly special on those who've got multiple piercings in their ears and I would actually really love to get a second low piercing. I've wanted to do this for so long I just haven't had an opportunity to so fingers crossed in the next sort of six months but I really like them and they add this really nice light sparkle around my face so I wanted to replicate that shine and sparkle that I've got going on with my earrings with my rings. I only have rings on my left hand today because I've got a bit of swelling and some eczema on my right hand so hopefully that will clear up by tomorrow but I've worn two of my favorite rings the Julie baguette ring which has the uh, baguette shaped white topaz stones and then also the Ilsa ring lights which is with the lab grown diamonds. I did do a whole video talking about lab grown diamonds I'm going to link that up in the cards but they are in every single way the same as mined diamonds except for the fact that they are 100% ethical because they are produced in a lab. That particular ring is one of my go-to everyday pieces. I really love pairing it with a lot of my other rings that I've got and it just has such a brilliant sparkle to it. It does come in a gemstone variety as well a little bird singing out the window. Um, then I do also have on this beautiful chain link bracelet from Linnea as well which has the toggle open closure which hopefully you'll be able to see well in the cutaways. In terms of my outfit, the knit that I'm wearing, this is an extremely extravagant purchase and by no means do you need to spend this much money on a knit sweater. It's from The Row. I purchased it during the Boxing Day sales and I had wanted it for a really, really long time and I'd almost purchased it full price but I did talk about it in a video how I didn't really feel like it was worth spending that much money on it. And I have to say, I think if I had purchased the men's cashmere knit from Uniqlo which has a very similar sort of a shape, I would have gotten the exact same look for my outfits. That said, I spent the money and I have been making use of it and been making a point of wearing it a lot. It has shown signs of wear and tear so it started pilling but that is very typical of wool and cashmere knits regardless of the price tag and the quality. So usually they will shed once or twice and then you shouldn't have too many issues after that. That said it has worn, um, it has worn well otherwise and I've popped it in the washing machine on a wool cycle and it's come out looking like new actually it's become even softer and fuzzier so that's always a plus. The skirt that I'm wearing as I mentioned earlier is my Realization Pass slip skirt. So uh, essentially the whole concept here is that I'm drawing on colors that I'm already wearing so we've got the uh, kind of creamy champagne color of the skirt which has the black cheetah leopard print on it so I've drawn on that for my top and my shoes so top black. I've also got on some black boots. These ones are from Jane Dibster and are incredibly comfortable. I like that 
you get into them just by zipping up the side because sometimes the pull-on Chelsea boots can be a little bit of an effort to squeeze your feet into and they have this squared off toe which is nice and I have worn some little black socks as well which are peeking up the top. This is very reminiscent of what I used to do when I was living back in Wellington. I always wore sort of dresses and skirts with Chelsea boots and then I had some socks showing. Bag of the day is my Louis Vuitton Neverfull. I have been reaching for this every single day, whether I use it solo or whether I combine it with a crossbody bag, uh, just because it is a really good size to throw underneath the pram and being made out of, the, out of a canvas, I'm not really worried about it creasing or anything like that. So that is my outfit for today. See you guys tomorrow with my next outfit of the week. All right, so it is Wednesday today and it is overcast today around 17 degrees. So uh, it's not overly cold, but it's also not super hot either. Uh, I've gone for a pretty monochromatic outfit. And then what I've done is I've injected a little bit of color, vibrancy, and just that element that makes me feel a little bit more happy through my jewelry. So I'll talk through my outfit first. I'm wearing this heathered black uh, alpaca net. This one's from Everlane. If you've been following me for a long time, you'll know that these are kind of my favorite knits from the brand. I've got it in a few colors and they're just so cozy and warm and soft. Uh, then I have dug out my Old Faithful H&M trousers from storage. I really didn't want to go another year without them or another six months without them. So I kind of went through all of my boxes and came across them so thrilled. They're a little bit more stuck on me than they used to be, but that's kind of normal when you're three months postpartum. I have belted them at the waist with my little Anderson's belt. I wanted to sort of have this gold theme running through with my hardware. So I like the fact that it's got that really nice gold buckle and it helps to define my waist as well. And because I am wearing sort of a little bit of an oversized loose knit and then the trousers have a straight cut to them, I really wanted to capitalize on the fact that I do have my ankles bare. So I have gone for a uh, espresso colored flat from Vivaya and I like the fact that these are cut quite low so it does expose a little bit more of the top of my foot. Um, they're super duper comfortable as well, great for uh, running errands and getting out and about. The bag that I am going to be wearing today is this one here from Sabin. Again, it has the gold hardware as well, so matching the belt and my jewelry, and it's a really comfortable one to wear. I like that it's got the dual zippers as well, so you've got the compartments. Makes it very easy to find everything. Um, then for my jewelry, I'm going to have some close-ups for you. I am wearing my amethyst ring which I am just so obsessed with at the moment. Amethyst is my birthstone as I mentioned earlier in the week and uh, to me I just really love the purple color. It feels really rich and vibrant and it just, I don't know, it makes me feel happy looking at it. It reminds me a lot of my mum because when I was younger she obviously bought me amethyst uh, pieces of jewelry and also I do have an amethyst stone which she gave me so uh, I have that connection as well. Then on my right hand, on my ring finger, I'm wearing the multicolored gemstone ring, which I think is just so pretty. And again, a nice and very subtle way to inject a little bit of color into your outfit. Um, and another piece that just makes me feel happy when I look at it. I do have on my petite wristwatch again from Linnea. And then the hoops that I'm wearing are the Chunky Doran hoops. Now these are chunky in name and in the look, but they aren't chunky in terms of the weight. So they're very, very lightweight. So it almost feels like you're wearing nothing in your ears, which is really nice. So yeah, that is my outfit for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow for my next look of the week. So it's Thursday today and it is definitely starting to feel a bit chilly. There's a real bite in the air. I know I'm going to want to wear a coat when I go outside. Um, so today I've, um, I've got both of the kids at home. So it's a bit of a hectic one. I'm just wearing something that is incredibly comfortable. Uh, so gone for really stretchy jeans and a super oversized knit. This is kind of my go-to look when it comes to being at home around the kids. I want something that is practical and that I'm gonna feel like I can move around in and not be too precious with. So materials that are generally pretty easy to care for are what I tend to go for the most. All right, so running through my jewelry, earrings I've gone to 
today are the Duran hoops which I've shared with you already and I love because they're so lightweight and I don't feel too precious about them at all. I do have on a necklace which may be short lived. Our daughter's not quite reaching for stuff yet but when she gets something caught in her hands it's impossible to get it out. Uh, so this is the Baroque pearl necklace and I love the fact that it has this real elegance to it and it makes me feel like my entire outfit is a little bit more dressed up than it actually is. <laughs> for my rings on my right hand I am wearing that Maya amethyst ring and then I've also paired it next to the Helen multicolor gemstone ring for a little bit of color and I like the kind of pairing of the two side by side. On my left hand I am wearing my petite watch and it's just slipped down but I do have that chain link bracelet on with the toggle again too and then on my index finger you'll see two of my favorite rings these pop up a lot whenever I am sort of wearing a stack I've got the Ilsa ring Lux, so this is with the lab grown diamonds as well as the Miriam diamond ring which again lab grown diamond collection and then I also have on the Tonya ring which is in the sterling silver uh, and I, I really like clashing or mixing my metals I think it's a really modern and interesting way to wear jewelry and it's definitely something that I have been playing around with a lot of the past Past few months. For my outfit, as I said, I've gone really, really casual today. So I have on my redone t-shirt, which is layered underneath this really cozy cotton knit from Jenny Kane. I'm wearing this in the size small, and I think it's a really good intentionally oversized fit without being or feeling too large. I have just kind of worn that loose, but I think I could also do a little bit of a tuck like that, and it would also be cute with my Madewell uh, vintage slim fit jeans. These aren't quite as skinny but they're a pretty skinny fit, almost like a cigarette jean. So these I have on in the 25. I find that their denim selection does run a little bit on the larger side so I am a true 26 but I do wear a 25 in their denim. And on my feet today I'm wearing my Everlane Day Gloves. These shoes are so incredibly comfortable. This is the second pair that I've had or actually the third pair if you count the re-knit ones that I also wore through. They're such an incredibly comfortable shoe. Uh, they do run small if you do have a wider foot so I'm wearing them in US 10. Then for coat I would be wearing my Manso Gabrielle coat. This was a pre-loved purchase. Um, I get lots of questions about this and unfortunately the only way to actually track one down is to look on the pre-loved market. And then finally bag of choice for the day will be my Celine Trio which I love because it's got the three compartments which makes it really easy for me to find what I need. Right, I'll see you guys tomorrow for my last outfit of the week. So it is Friday end of the week and final outfit that I'm going to be sharing in this video. It is basically the same sort of weather we've had all week where it's been getting inclementally colder. Uh, I probably will wear a coat when we head out to the playground a little bit later today because again it is a day with me and the kids. Uh, in terms of what I am wearing, so you can kind of see that this big turtleneck roll neck sweater that I'm wearing is sort of the key element of my outfit. So I kept my jewelry pretty minimal. I actually wanted to show one of my oldest jewelry pieces from Linnea in today's video which are the Lise hoops which I've got on right now. They're a very very classic and basic hoop which I think is quite a nice compliment to what I'm wearing. Now these hoops I've had for I want to say four years now and they look immaculate. They are in such incredible condition and I've worn them so many times and I really wanted to share that as a real good indicator of the quality of their jewelry pieces. Um, on my fingers I am just wearing some rings on my right hand today. I have on my Edith ring which is with the white topaz, essentially three little white topaz gemstones in a rectangular setting which is really pretty and then I have laid some rings that you've already seen before my Maya amethyst ring which I cannot get enough of it's probably been my MVP this week when it comes to adding some sparkle to my day then I have on my Ilsa ring Lux, which again is another one that I just can't stop wearing and then I also have on my Tonya chain ring as well then for my outfit I wanted something that was going to be again really comfortable today and that I could run about with uh, our son <laughs> we've set up a bit of a runway with the two yoga mats that we've got in the living room. So my son and I have been racing cars up and down it. So I wanted something that wouldn't prohibit or restrict any kind of movement. So 
I have on this really huge oversized chunky knit sweater. This is from Totem. It does come in a few different iterations. Mine is with the black base and then the Et Crew stripe but it comes in the reverse and then I've also seen it with a uh, Et Crew and then a light blue stripe which is very pretty as well. I'll link some of the different options below but I'm wearing the small and it is very oversized. Um, I will say that the sleeves can be a little bit impractical if you are doing anything like dishes or you're cooking but you can eat easily roll them up and the wool mix it actually has quite a bit of rigidity to it so it will stay in place and I find that really convenient actually when I am doing some of those activities around the house very common um, so then on my bottom half I am wearing leggings uh, these are something that have really become a key or hero piece in my wardrobe for the past couple of years the ones I wear are from Commando and they are the best. I've actually got three pairs. I have the classic ones, I have them in faux leather, and then I also have them in, oh actually sorry, I've got four pairs. I've got the faux patent, and then I also have the ribbed ones, which are more of, I would say, an athletic option. I think if you want a pair that aren't going to pick up lint, either go for one of the faux leather or faux patent leather options or go for the scuba ones, which are so comfortable and they really do kind of suck you in, hold everything in, which is very comfortable, especially postpartum. My shoes, you will have seen me talk about a million times before, they are my Port and Pear boots. I have them in a 39 and a half, which is half a size smaller than I would usually go for because I relied on the sizing chart on the net -a -a website. I actually think stick with your usual size, especially if you plan on wearing really thick, chunky socks with them. Mine fit me perfectly fine, but I do wish I had a little bit more room for if I'm going to a particularly cold climate so that I can wear them really comfortably with a quite hefty sock. Then my bag of choice today, same one as yesterday, my Celine Trio, really trusty, and I do love the fact that I've got that functionality of the three pockets, so easy to organize all of my belongings. Uh, I'll probably also have my Louis Vuitton Neverfull underneath the pram when we go to the park of snacks <laughs> so that is my week in outfits I hope that you enjoyed this and getting a look at what it is that I am wearing uh, for me something that I really found helped a lot after giving birth the first time was actually putting on outfits as opposed to loungewear and I've really consistently kept that up this time around as well I definitely do wear outfits that resemble more loungewear and sometimes I will just wear leggings and a jumper but for the most part I find a lot of joy in the act of dressing up and part of it is just being able to take you know that five minutes for yourself to be able to put together an outfit that you really love and makes you feel like you so yeah that is it from me don't forget that if you do want to pick anything up from Linnea they have buy one get one 40% off as part of their summer sale so a great opportunity to really extend your budget a little bit further and pick up a few extra little sparkly bits to uh, brighten up your day thank you so much for watching for spending some of your day with with me and I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you very soon. Bye!